Alright, hi everybody, my name is Logan, and today we're going to be doing another Blender tutorial. We are going to be making this scene right here. Alright, how we're going to do that, we're going to go through my basic workflow of starting in Daz 3D with a Genesis 8.1 or whatever you want to use, and that's where we're going to do the figure and posing. We're going to bring it into Blender. We're going to be using three add-ons for this one, Vigen, Blender Kit, and Grid Breaker. All three are free, Blender Kit you just have to sign up on the website for. And then afterwards, we're either going to be throwing it into, well, I'm going to be throwing it into Photoshop. You can throw it into Photoshop, GIMP, or any photo editing software just to do a little bit of post and just to polish it and make it look better. All right, so let's get started. All right, let's get started. So in Daz, we're going to go over here, go to Figures, People, I'm going to choose a male one real world and then we're going to go Genesis 8.1 basic male. You can choose any model you want, I'm just going to go with this one. And then we're going to do some basic posing, change it up here to rotate, we're going to move this around. You don't really necessarily have to worry about it looking too realistic as we're going to be having a lot of blender. So I am most likely going to render out just a pose of someone very basically arms spread and then we'll make it symmetrical and duplicate all that in Blender. So just to get something basic started, this can be pose one. Let's go to the face though, change the display on the posing just so we can get a little bit more emotion out of here because a plain face is pretty boring. Let's just zoom in on the face. Just make them shocked. All right, and here's a tip. Let's say we want this to be over here perfectly. Go to Male Genesis, and then go over here. Go to Symmetry. Change it from Propagation None to Recursive, left to right, hit Accept. Now boom, look, we got recursive geometry on both sides. All right, let's export this first one. File, export. I need a new folder on my desktop for this. We're just gonna call this one base pose one. And then I'm gonna make a couple more poses in here. I will be providing all the files in the description so you can use it. I'm just gonna fast forward this part because it might take a little bit. All right, now that we have those poses, we're gonna go into Blender, open up a new session, You'll probably use, will look different than mine. Just have a cube, just delete it, then do whatever you want. Mine just looks this way when I start up. So we're gonna start by just deleting everything except the camera. We're gonna be running cycles, at a square X specs ratio of 1920 by 1920. You can do however you want, I just prefer squares. Go to file, import, OBJ. We're gonna navigate to where we save those. Start with base pose one. Don't do what I just did right there and click on the wrong one. Don't click on the MTL, click on the OBJ. Once it loads in, we're gonna size this up by nine, just so we can have a base sizing of everything. We're gonna size it up by two. All right, now we're just gonna import the other ones here. Import OBJ, two, three, and four. Once they all load in, we'll scale them up as well. Scale nine, scale two. As you can see, it only imported the fourth one, so I'm gonna go back and import the third one, and then import the second one as well. on a 
piece like this, you want to keep your final product in mind the whole time, what you want it to look like, just so it works a little easier in the whole creation process. I like symmetrical stuff, so that's why everything is going to be symmetrical. Alright, now we have these four set up like that. Go into the camera, move the camera up on the Z, make sure you click on the camera, move it up on the Z. So it's nice and centered. We go into shading and just throw a HDRI on the world real quick. Just so we can get a little sense of what is happening. We're gonna go up here in the Blender Kit. I'll provide the link to download this. Go to free HDRIs. You just click this little eye box so it opens and you can see everything. And then we're just gonna search forest. Once it loads, select like one that looks moderately bright. Make this one up by sliding. I'm going to select the 2K option, download. We'll download it and drop it in there. I'm going to select this node, do Control T to open up Node Wrangler. Go over here, Film, Transparent. Close this, go back into Camera View with zero. We're going to fix all the weird mesh work. This is more just to get a sense of the lighting. We're going to go down here on rotation Z and we're just going to mess with this until we get something that looks what we want. I'm liking that. Right, we're going to go back into layout. I just realized I don't have this on, so I'm going to turn this on. And hopefully, if there we go, it'll make sense more for everybody now go back in, we're just going to select the base pose, hit slash on the numbs pad, which brings it up to only the local view. We're going to go in here, change to edit mode, we're going to chop some stuff off. Switch to face mode, if you have alt hold down and you click on something, you get to the right one, there we go, it'll select the whole band, and then you're going to go here, mesh, separate by selection, select the arm, control L to select all the linked, and then mesh, separate, selection. Go back into object mode, back into camera, select this, object relation, make single user, object data material. After you do that, right click. Set origin, origin geometry. Let's go back into this. Now that this is separated, let's first start off by deleting all these materials. Now that this mesh is separated, we're going to duplicate it. Move it up on the Z axis a couple times. Begin on the X axis. Just so we get some nice looking stuff. And add an empty in the middle. Move it up to about the head. Select one of these. Go over and add a mirror. Put it on the empty. Select this one. Select this. Control L. And then copy modifiers. Now we're going to do the same thing on all the other arms. I'm going to fast forward this part because it might take a little bit. duplicated, chopped up, and mirrored around. It's got a nice little symmetrical beginning to our whole piece. Basically how I achieved this effect was I did the same thing on every single piece of mesh. Edit mode, and then just chopped it off by selecting it, and then going mesh, separate, selection. Now that we have this, Pop it into rendered view just to see how the lighting is looking. We're still getting overlapping stuff in the middle. Not worry about that, we're about to fix that here now. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this first one, make sure we grab all the pieces of the bow. Go back into camera view, and just move it 
pull it a little bit on the Y so it hits the one all the way in the front. Now all the other overlapping meshes hidden behind it, except for right here. I guess that's just because we didn't do the materials on everything. <clears throat> so that's another important point, is to make sure that you delete the materials on everything, otherwise you have a bunch of recursive materials that are just bogging your machine down for no reason. Cool. Now that we got this, we're going to mess around with the camera a little bit more. We're just going to pull the field of view out a little bit, make it a little smaller, so we get more of a shot. Alright, we're going to do some basic composition. We're going to add a plane, scale it up on the 9, scale it up on the 2. I'm just going to add another plane, scale it up on the 9, scale it up on the 2, rotate it on the x-axis of 90, go in the side view, and then move it back towards there so we have a nice little background. Move it up, and now we have this basic composition. I think that'll be the end of part one of this video. In part two, we will be adding in the background, and then in part three, we will be doing material, shading, and Photoshop. Thank you.